data entry form part 4 we shall now continue adding more uh, fields to our data entry form we have been doing last time we added the drop down list and this time we are going to add a radio button list to this radio button list will show us nationality whether the user is Indian or others and uh, as we decided at the time of creation of database Indian or others won't come from database we'll manually add them so let us see how to do this so this time a model won't be involved and nor any validation will be involved no validation because radio button uh, from amongst a group of radio buttons one is always selected at least one will always have that dot so no validation is required and no database data is going to come here so let us see how to tackle this part here we go this is our uh, qualification that we already have and now we will add a TR for nationality and we can start typing here so we will be using radio button for just like drop down list for drop down for we will be using radio button for text box for as usual the first property will be the the uh, first parameter will be the name of the property to which this one is bound radio button this radio button group is going to post the data to the nationality property of the model that will be passed to the controller controller is going to receive that object here in the index on HTTP post and nationality property will be obtained and linked to this drop down list to this radio button group the next the next property is uh, the next parameter is capital I this means the value associated with it if the user ticks this one then I will be associated so I is for Indian and then we have written a span Indian here this will permanently show Indian written against the radio button so uh, if, if you if you want to see it this way the radio button is separate and its data is separate this is the display that we can ourselves decide and had this been coming from database then this would have been bound to a certain property of the model and this one to another property of the model and maybe to a view bag if you want maybe supplied a small model into a view, view bag and extracted its fields here ok then uh, to make it pre-selected by default it won't be selected to make it pre-selected we can use this one this one says if you remember this is the syntax for setting the attributes on a input element I have input element here and remember how, how did I set that ID above I used new ID is equal to I can show you here when we were setting the ID of the date picker we were we used a dynamic for setting the ID attribute and here what we want to set we want to set the checked attribute if you see the HTML associated with a drop down we can say input type is radio type is radio and value is whatever its i this time and name will be nationality in uh, this is what it will be there but if we want to get it checked that is pre-checked then I'll have to write checked is equal to checked this will generate a radio button with a dot already there so checked is equal to checked but uh, uh, I'll have to write it like this but checked happens to be a keyword of C sharp 